She's on Edinburgh. She works as a social worker for Edinburgh City Council on the domestic abuse and, and she's studying your language. She made it very clear that you're working full time. <coughs> on top of that. Just now. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you're an active feminist, trade unionist, and socialist. And her current main uh, involvement in the community is as a convener for the community garden group, developing a network of gardens in the whole of town. She also tells me she's a fellow to crush the student crochet that you are in this house, which has been used to crochet. I think the uh, as well just looking at uh, as she was, I think of I as my what I'm in my involvement in the knowledge sector and the community arts. I don't think I actually told people that she asked me. You know, what I was involved in. Um, um also helped help set the Edinburgh Old Town Development Trust. We worked a lot with the gas market uh, community project. And they're very much involved in our gardening project. Um, and one of the things we try to do is to grow herbs and graves within the Edinburgh. And that's a project that came from that. And one of the things we're trying to do is really based on the principles of Patrick Deva, which, you know, are looking at hand, heart, and head. And I actually think we should go into politics with using your head, your heart, and your hand. And that's the founding principles of the arts and crafts movement. And one of the things that he wanted to do was make sure that people were involved in everything that happened. And uh, that's one of the things we're trying to do with uh, like planting all these gardens in the old town, which you can't have a garden in the old town, which is because the nature of it. The only reason you have that is you do it commonly. And actually, I don't know that's a bad principle. It's not a bad principle to do things commonly, collectively, together. And actually, the principles of the Scottish Social Party is that. The other thing that I've been very involved in, and again helped set up with Colin Fox, who was number one in the Scottish Social Party, my chum Laurie the back, who was set up a people's festival, which is a festival that people could get organised in, in the arts, and also at the support of the but we never charge any more than two pounds eh, regardless of what, what the project is. And another other principle of things the end that we are standing for is actually um, it's not just economic policy, it's not it's that many, but that's one of them is a beautiful song that, that's sung by, by feminists and socialists, bread and rosary, give us bread or give us rosary too, but one of those not look beautiful, what's the point of being part of it? And it was very much in our manifesto that we, we know that we need beautiful things that people should be involved in, in, in the arts and things like that. And for my feminism, it always amazes me that women's art is also called craft work, isn't it? It's not like fine art, isn't it? And uh, but actually, our, our craft work that was taught when I was still at school in the 70s, but hopefully we can work on the record, it'll come back in. And because this is actually the traditional work of, of, of people. So how do we pay for this? And actually, we've got 20 seconds to tell you, and we're going to pay for it. And I think actually, is, I just want to finish on this, is that tax dodging corporations, and those that don't pay their taxes, the rich and corporations, they robbed the state last year of 95 billion pounds. So that's the only policy I think we need to put the next If they just to pay their taxes, then we could have a very beautiful Scotland, and we could build that internationally and nationally. Thank you very much.